What's up guys? Welcome back to my fiasco trying to get these damn things sandblasted. So my goal for today is to fix this damn sandblaster, get it operating correctly so that we can finally finish getting these things all cleaned up because there's still quite a bit that needs to be done. You guys already know if you watched yesterday's video. So anyhow, I got a bunch of fittings. So the problem was is I do have a dryer. One of you guys sent this out to me, but the fittings that I had would not fit in here. So I needed to go and get some reducers in which I got a few. So now we have what it is we need. Anyhow, we're going to get this thing mounted up and I'm going to run this in line from the compressor. And the idea here is to actually see I got a T. So I want to mount this thing over here somewhere and the idea is to run the compressor to this and then off of this I want to run it over to the sandblaster and then have a separate outlet to be able to plug my hose into so I don't have to run it through the door like this anymore. This is how I've been doing it so that's going all the way around the side of the booth and plugging into the compressor over there so now I'll actually have a plug right here where I can plug my hose in. The little things, man, the little things. Makes a huge difference. got all of our airlines ran i mean you guys seen it just plugged into the compressor out there right so comes through this little hole right here in the booth comes down into the water and oil catch so this is supposed to catch all the water and oil contaminants or whatever that's in the air um, into these filters then it passes through there's a regulator and we got a little gauge in here now um, and then passes through that and then continues on over here where i'll have this right here where i can just plug into the blast cabinet anyhow now i'm kind of like rebuilding the sandblasting gun not necessarily rebuilding it but that little air valve right there that the trigger actually actuates it kind of fell apart like there's a little thing in there that that screws in and then there's a an o-ring behind it like i had to take the handle off and everything to get it back in and i put a little bit of sriracha sauce in there I was hoping the squeak went away, but it didn't. Now we should have dry air and we've got new nozzles and extras, you know, in case I bang it too hard again. Oh, another thing, this fitting right here, cause this just hose clamps right here. That was leaking as well. So I'm gonna put some of this liquid, this liquid thread lock. It's basically like that white tape that you put on threads to seal stuff, but this is a liquid form. This stuff works really freaking good, man. I'm gonna put some of that on it. Like I, I've put that on everything. Right now the pressure, I don't know if you can see the pressure's up. I could dial that up or turn it down. But yeah, we're sitting at 100 PSI right now. So I can turn that up higher. I think those compressors out there sit at about 125, but we've got pressure in here and you don't hear any hissing. Nothing's leaking, which is good. <laughs> It is now Friday. It is 4.46 p.m. It's almost five o'clock. Since Wednesday, so since Wednesday, what it is I have accomplished is this, this, 
this. <laughs> well, I guess we've accomplished more than that. This actually is pretty huge, man, having the dryer. This helped tremendously, dude. Well, having the dryer and actually getting a nozzle for the gun, um, this gun has been doing nothing but giving me problems. So I'm gonna need to get a new gun. Um, I've been wanting to upgrade it anyhow a long time ago when we were on the subject of sandblast cabinets, man. One of you guys had mentioned to me about, actually sent me links, I think, about like all the upgrades and stuff that you can do to this. So I need to look into that. I don't know, it performed pretty well. It's just now I have to unplug this. The valve inside of here is stuck. So whenever you put, whenever you put air to it, you no longer have to pull the trigger. It's just blowing air constantly. And I took it all apart to see if there was something stuck in there or what was going on, but there really ain't a whole lot to take apart to this thing, man. Anyhow, got through it, got them sandblasted. Now I can actually primer these damn things, bro. I don't even know what color I'm painting them yet. I knew it was gonna happen. I don't know if you guys heard it in the video or actually if, if I didn't cut it out, I don't remember. But when I first pulled those off and I said that we're gonna sandblast them, I had mentioned it's probably gonna take me at least two days to get those sandblasted. I freaking knew it. an air hose and not a water hose? <laughs> Alright, so I have an idea of a color that I want to spray these. I don't know if I'm going to be able to um, pull that color off. Basically doing the same thing that we did with Curly's car. I'm just going through a bunch of like old cans that I have laying around of paint and seeing if I can make the color in which I am hoping to be able to make. It'd be pretty simple. Only thing I need is silver and... Is that it? Oh, oh wow, yeah, that's it black so i don't need this silver for anything else anymore so i'm gonna go ahead and just pour the black directly into this can oh yep definitely need more well right, let's just put it all screw it all right so i needed to spray this section black right here you, i mean you guys already know how i am i i just cannot paint this control arm and that piece all the same color anyhow while we're waiting for that to dry i have something else that i want to work on and i'm doing a little reset really quick i need to clean the booth again this is all the stuff i have accumulated out here over the last couple of days just trying to get these control arms to this point man and believe me everything had a purpose like even the buffing wheel on my drill right here with the wax i wasn't able to see through this damn windows so i needed a buffet <laughs> dude it's been a struggle bro for real the wheel tubs fender liner inner fender whatever it is you want to call these things this makes up probably i don't know 50 percent of the engine bay <laughs> so we sprayed the frame we did the firewall so now i want to spray these as well i mean we can't put them back in there looking like this you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna go ahead and get these things prepped up and this thing gets to go bye bye no more cruise control So I think I've decided what it is I want to do with these. I'm, I'm hoping I don't regret it. I think it's going to be cool, man. I think it's going to look pretty dope. I figured this video definitely ain't going up today. It's currently still Friday. So that's the reason why there wasn't a video on Friday. Because how much of a pain in the ass this has all been. But anyhow, I have an idea to do with these. And it's going to require a few colors and some masking. You guys will see whenever it's done. I can't spoil it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to go ahead and throw the first color down now. Got 
our first color down on the wheel wells and uh, don't 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 pay no attention to that <laughs> we're gonna get creative with these things so i want to do something on the truck that's just like you know <laughs> Even if you can't see it too much, be in the engine bay. But now these have had plenty enough time to dry. It's now the next day if you didn't catch on. So I'm going to get uh, this section right here masked off and we can finally spray these damn control arms. All right, got these things sprayed. Finally got these things sprayed. Now this is just a base color, so we're still gonna be doing another color on top of this that is going to change the look completely. Same with the wheel wells. You guys already know that's just the first of a few colors that we have to put on those. But I do need to let that stuff kind of sit up, so I'm gonna go ahead and edit this video and throw it up for you guys. Make sure that you come back tomorrow to see what color it is that we're actually gonna be doing those control arms and to see the pattern that I'm wanting to do on those wheel wells. I'm actually really excited about it. We're also gonna be heading out to the junkyard tomorrow. Our local junkyard here is having a 50% off sale, so I figured we'll get up in the morning and Brave and I are gonna mob out there and go see if we can pick a few things up. So peace out guys and I'll see you tomorrow.